So in this uh, vi uh, video we're going to look at finding the residue of this function, the reciprocal of z times z minus 1 squared and the residue of that is going to be at point 0 and normal rules of complex analysis z is a plus bi and i is square root of minus 1. So how are we going to find this? Well the Lorentz series looks like the way forward. Okay. And for the residue, we're looking for is that the 1 over z coefficient or z to the minus 1, whichever way around you want to work it. That's where we're going to find the value of the residue. So we're looking at the coefficient of 1 over z. So 1 over z, 1 over z minus, so 1 over z times z minus 1 squared. That is of the form 1 over z times 1 over z minus 1 squared. Now 1 over z, that's fine, we can work with that. 1 over z minus 1 squared, we don't really know a Taylor series for that. But what we do know, if we could get this squared on this one, and then just leave this as 1 over z minus 1 or something like that, then we could be fine. So how are we going to do that? Well, if we let this just be a single letter, i.e. doing a substitution, so let's do a u sub. So u equals z minus 1. That will then give us a 1 over u squared. That will be good. But then we need to get back to this one. So therefore z would equal u plus 1. So now we can write f in the u world as 1 over z is u plus 1 and then multiplied by 1 over u squared. u is z minus 1, so 1 over u squared. So 1 over u squared we can work with, then we know a Taylor series for 1 over u plus 1. So let's just write that up here. Taylor series 1 over u plus 1. That is simply 1 minus u plus u squared minus u to the 3 plus u to the 4. Keep switching the negative to positive and the powers just keep going up one at a time and that goes on forever and ever. Okay, so we've got 1 over u plus 1. So now what we need to do is multiply it by 1 over u squared. So if we get 1 over u squared and multiply it by this Taylor series for 1 over u plus 1, that will give us our Laurent series. So let's write that inside here, 1 minus u plus u squared minus u cubed plus u to the 4, so on. Okay, let's multiply that through, see where that takes us. So we end up with 1 over u squared, then minus u times 1 over u squared, that's minus u over u squared, plus u squared over u squared, u cubed, that's minus u cubed over u squared, and then u to the 4, and u squared. Okay, right, let's simplify these through. So we got, and let's put it in the form of this kind of form here, so u to the minus 2, minus so that's a little one there. So two on the bottom and one on the top. So if you just subtract two there, so we get minus u to the minus one. This one here, u squared over u squared, it's just simply one. Again here, two, subtract two, get minus u to the one, it's just u. u to the four over u to the two, again subtract two, it's plus u squared. Okay, so now we're looking for our residue here at u to the minus 1, which is there. So therefore, the residue of f at 0 equals, we'd have an imaginary minus 1 there, equals minus 1. That is our answer.